Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, events. Which, in order to do events correctly, we had to learn delegates, because events are based on delegates. And unlike uh, delegates, events are not a new type. For example, by type I mean we have classes, and in C-sharp we have structs, which you may or may not have seen. We have enums. Uh, what other kind of types are there? Oh, I can't think of them right now, but... So, um... Uh, events are not a new type. They're just a, a restriction placed on a delegate reference. Boy, if you could get anything into your head, an event is a restriction based, uh, or put upon a delegate reference. So, let me just show you a little bit of what uh, events are good for, and I'm going to use some old school win form stuff, which you may see in your career after attending Newmont, but uh, uh, generally it's WPF now, but it's it's easier to teach this with the old school classic way, because there's not as much confusing stuff in, in your fr face, but anyway, I'm going to make a class and call it my form, it's going to inherit from form, um, don't really worry too much about what that is. Essentially, when I say application dot run new my form, again, don't stress this right here. I just have to have it to make this uh, run correctly. But uh, when I pop it up and you get this, it's called a form, a Windows form. It's it's this thing, right? Yeah, you can go show that to your mom, and, and she'll see you're making progress. Um, so let's put a constructor here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want to do the constructor. There we go. And I want to say var but gets new button. And let's say but dot text just because you know I'll click me. And then we can say um, controls dot add. Oh wait, yes, controls dot add. But now controls is a property of form which essentially when I add the button I get it here and I can click it and it does absolutely nothing. It's a very useful button. Um, anyway, so I, I want to write some code that will act when that button's clicked upon and from Java you know that you're about to get a listener but if my knowledge is right you have to inherit from some listener uh, interface then you throw the code in the listener interface and and you might have some empty methods I think if the interface is too big and, and so what, what uh, uh, .NET does is it uses uh, those delegates so basically I say click plus equals new system event handler and we get button click here so I want to look at click just for a minute remember to go to the definition of click I hit F12 to see it and click is a an event handler it's this don't worry about this thing, that's what I'm getting to. But for now, it's an event handler. Click. So if I F12 on event handler, oh look, event handler is a delegate. What we have seen before. A delegate that returns void, takes two objects, sender, and event args E. But for now, don't, don't worry about this part here. The part, the part I want you to worry about is, it's a delegate. Okay, and being a de delegate, it can be invoked. So notice that that Visual Studio was kind enough to generate this stuff down here because it has to match these arguments here. But essentially, um, I can say uh, console right line, you click the button, or if you want to be more Windows-like, you can say, uh, you can pop a message box up and click. And so let's run that, and I click, uh, let's put this down here, I click. And sure enough, I get the message box here, and then I also get this console output. So I'll close that, pressing key to continue. Okay, good. Now, just remember, Jamie likes sugar, and I don't really need this plus equals new. If I take that out, then I get button click, or butt click, plus equals butt click. And, uh, of course, the compiler, it desugarizes it and puts, puts the event handler thing back in there for us. But me, you know, I like to be succinct. I just, you know, when you click, run this method. So anyway, so so that's that's events in a nutshell. There, that's that's essentially something happened, and it invokes this delegate, and the delegate runs, and and so far so good. So so that's 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 the intro to to events. Now let me show you how you actually make one of these. So say I make a class 
cow because you know I like cows and and uh, I want to say um let's do public action and remember action I showed you action in the uh, lambdas video um, I'm gonna say moving here action again just for refresher it's a delegate but it's simpler than that event handler one we saw earlier. It returns nothing, takes nothing. It's just that simple. So now I can say, um, well, let's let's get a constructor going on here, and and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, okay, just just pretend like you can't see this, but void um. Let's just say live, because cows live. They don't do much else besides live and maybe eat once in a while. And I'm going to just make up a new thread. Don't worry about the thread, because I'm just trying to simulate something. But I'm going to say live, and I'm going to start that thread. So here we go. Say, so, well, all true. Um, all true. Uh, let's sleep for a while, meaning thread just don't do anything for, let's do a whole second. And then I'll say, um, let's 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 fire off the moving reference. Remember, moving is an action, which is a delegate, which means I can invoke it. So a very simple cow here. So down here in main, we're gonna say, okay, cow, cow gets new cow. I say cow dot moving plus equals. I'm gonna use a lambda here because you know I don't want to make a whole method for this. I want to say moving plus equals. Well, I'm just cow mood. So static void cow mood and uh, console right line mood. The cow mood. Okay, so if you look at just this class by itself. We have something very simple here. We say, cow, cow, when you're moving, tell me that you did, and then I'll, I'll uh, respond in some way. This is called the uh, handler method. I'm handling the moving event. So I run it. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. And every second, the cow is moving. Okay, cool. So I hit Control-C to stop that, by the way. Um, so so that's that's fine and dandy, but but say you know here in Maine, I want to say a cow dot uh, mooing. You know what's kind of dirty about a delegate is first of all this delegate. If you notice it's public, you know, and I can add on to it because I can chain. That's cool. So so I'm adding on, and and just just to make this more succinct, I am going to uh, convert my cow mood into a lambda. So I'm going to add some more of these. So let's put this, let's go like that, like that, and pop. All right. But remember, the compiler just rewrites that to this. All right. But let's sugarize it a little bit. Okay. So do that. Um, cow mooing mood. So so the interesting thing here is I can say cow mooing. And in fact, I don't even need this live anymore inside of here. Well, we'll just leave it because the cow wants to move once in a while. But I can go down here and I can say, hey, invoke moving, invoke moving, invoke moving, invoke moving, invoke moving. And then all of a sudden I'm like making the cow moo. It's like I'm poking the cow with a pen or something to to make it mad. So it goes real fast. And then and then you see it's just kind of moving once in a while. So so that's not a very nice thing. Right? Now say that there's other people that are interested in the cow mooing as well. So cow mooing plus equals... You know, you know, Jane comes along and says, "Oh, how cute!" You know, and 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 then Billy comes along, and Billy's not very nice. He's he he. Uh, well, let me get my right symbols in here. Plus equals. Thank you. Um, council right line. Uh, tip it over. You know, kind of like Mater. Maybe that's Mater. I just saw Cars 2 yesterday, and they tipped over some Mega Machine. And, Anyway, it was kind of fun. So, so, so here we go. We got us who are interested in the moo. We have uh, whoever I said it was interested in. Oh, how cute! And so these three, uh, these three uh, handlers responding to the event, and then then we go around and we go and we poke the cow and say moo, 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 and then all we get all this output immediately. 
Well, okay, so that we have two issues. Well, not two issues, just one. One, we, we're we outside the class. Notice, this is main class, this is the cow, and yet we're the ones making mooing um, happen. And really, mooing should be under c complete control of the cow. Only the cow should be able to moo, not us, like, pretending we're in a cow suit, saying moo, 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 moo. Okay, and then another problem is, say we come down here later, and, uh, um, um, we say, uh, cow dot mooing gets null. Well, remember, mooing is a reference, and, uh, well, I forgot to check for null up here. By the way, when you fire off a delegate that people can subscribe to, you should check if it's null. Remember, null means uh, basically the de delegate's not pointing to any methods. It's a null reference. There's nothing to execute in the delegate chain. So cow moving gets null, and then um, so we essentially get no output because look at us, we're jerks. We we said, you know what, moo and she wanted to know that the cow is cute and he wants to tip it over but then I turned around and said mooing is null basically I know you guys are interested in this cow but you can no longer hear anything the cow is saying you are deaf to the cow so now we have two issues two main issues one we are preventing or removing other people from subscribing to this event and then two um, we were able to invoke the event ourselves like that. So we shouldn't be able to control who can hear the cow, and we definitely shouldn't be able to force the cow to moo. The cow needs to move on its own. Well, okay, so let's go up here and we just type one little keyword called event. And then the compiler kicks in a gear and adds a whole bunch of sugar and says, oh, event keyword, okay. So then it adds some restrictions, it does a little bit of magic, and then basically we can no longer force other people to, to not hear the cow, and we can also not uh, moo in the cow's place. So you can think of a, a, an ev a event as simply a delegate reference, which this is. This is action mooing. Mooing is a reference to an instance of a delegate, which is a class. And uh, the event just simply adds some restrictions to it, saying, well, you can no longer just override the chain. I, I can subscribe to the chain, but I cannot override the chain. I cannot just assign the whole chain to nothing or to something completely different. And I can also no longer uh, invoke it directly. The cow can. Look, the cow is still good. He can move all he wants, but I can't fake it. So if I run this, so says there's build errors, you know, and it says, Mooing can only appear on the left hand of a subscription, or you can actually desubscribe. And same with the other. So, so that's events in a nutshell. There's there's really nothing more to the event keyword than that. So let me see. I'm fine. Camtasia and stop my recording and then upload this to YouTube.